Good day boys and girls. This is Mrs. Baxter and I'm here to bring to you your lesson for today on weather, climate and vegetation. Weather, climate and vegetation. That's our broad topic. What our subtopic is? Climate. Now boys and girls, we had distinguished the difference between weather and climate in our previous lessons and we established that climate is a weather condition that is prevalent in an area over a long period of time while weather is rarely the day-to-day -day changes in the atmosphere right take for example jamaica we normally are exposed to sunny conditions and as a result of that we fall in the tropic zone we are in the tropics students climate zones are distinguished by the lines of latitude that runs across the earth's surface now you would have learned from even the primary level that lines of latitude are really imaginary lines but of course they are used also as markers to distinguish which countries fall in which climate zone on the Earth's surface. Now, boys and girls, here we have our major lines of latitude, the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle. Each area is color-coded. The areas to the north and south in blue represents the polar zone, very cold regions. The areas in green represents the temperate zone and the areas in red represents the torrid zone or the tropics. Here we have a diagram of our climate zones and we'll continue. The areas in blue represents the polar zone. As I already noted in our previous slide, it's very cold. The areas in yellow, which is a temperate zone, is warm. But the areas in red is very hot. And it's called the tropics. Very sunny region. That area is exposed to the sun's direct rays. Now, boys and girls, let us recap our climate zones. These are the torrid zone, otherwise known as the tropical zone, the temperate zone, and the frigid zone, otherwise known as the polar zones. Boys and girls, I would like you to use the link below to watch the video on climate zones. And take your notes based on the information gathered from the video and these notes will help you to answer the questions that will be uploaded on your worksheet. That worksheet will be entitled Geography Worksheet 1. I would also like you to utilize your Exploring Geography Workbook 2 and a Complete Exercise 5. Now, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson, and I would like you to continue to take very good care of yourselves. Keep washing your hands, sanitize the items that you use on a daily basis, and remember to keep indoors. Take care until next time.